Hi, I'm Titlini Harb and this is my very soggy garden. I'm just back for a week's holiday and it seems as though the weather here has been absolutely atrocious while we've been away. It doesn't seem that long ago when I was saying, I'm practically naked. Now look at me, it's May and I've got my thick jumper back on again. What is wrong with our weather these days? Anyway, there's lots of things to do. I've also got some footage of some things I did before I went on holiday, so there's plenty to see. So I suggest you find yourself a nice comfy chair, sit down, Drink tea, smoke. I'm starting off in the greenhouse this week and with good reason. So let's start by showing you what I did before I went on holiday. Right, I'm in the greenhouse and there's a few jobs I want to get done before I go on holiday. Let's we'll start with the tomatoes. These are the plum tomato substitutes I bought when my original money makers got frost damaged. This one is the Moneymaker tomato plant that was on the right hand side of the grow back. I've cut off all the dead leaves and you can see it's still shooting. So I'm going to take a chance and repot this. So I've bought another tomato grow bag. Now unfortunately I couldn't get any of the nice grow pots that I got from my other tomatoes. Disappointed face coming up. Ready for it? Here it comes. So I just have to make do without my grow pots. A bit compacted this grow bag so I'll just loosen up the soil a bit. Now I think for the sake of symmetry I'm going to put two plum tomatoes in the centre and the money maker at the end so to make a little hole. There you go my friend, good roots on you. There you go. Get you all cosy and comfy in your new home. Hoo -hoo, you're going to love it here. All right, we're looking sharp. By the way, can you hear the rain on the greenhouse roof? That's better. First thing I want to sow is some spinach, and they're quite big seeds, which will make them easier to sow. So I'll just push them into the soil, fairly deep, good half an inch or so. I do like spinach. I think it's one of those vegetables that particularly kids seem to turn away from, but I think it's so tasty. Now I'll cover over with some more seed compost. Then give them a good water. I could sow these directly into the soil outside, but I just want to give them a good and safe start before I put them into my veg patch. Now the other thing I want to plant is some coriander and I use a lot of coriander in my cooking so I'm going to plant quite a few seeds here. Beauty about coriander, just poke the seeds in, is that you can plant these pretty much all the year round indoors and providing you look after them and you stagger the sowing you can end up with an almost constant supply of fresh coriander. These seeds don't need to be particularly deep so I'll just cover them over and give them a good water. There's one bubbled up here. Now then, where did you come from? I'm going to put you there. Push. Now stay! So there's my spinach and coriander sown. And if you're wondering what these things are, my broccoli is just going berserk. Now while we're on the subject of herbs, you can actually buy herbs from supermarkets. Well, at least around here they tend to be an awful lot cheaper than buying them through garden centres but the problem is they don't last very long because they're in such tiny pots so if you want to keep them as I do you need to pop them up. These are chives and look at all the roots on that. I like to pop them up into nice big six inch pots. Just pop it in there, some soil around the outside. good water. By the way this water that I'm using now to water my 
seeds and things in the greenhouse comes from my giant water butt. So now I've got a nice healthy basil plant, some good parsley and some chives for cooking this summer. Oh, I'm sweating. There's been a couple of other innovations in the greenhouse since last week too. Like this plastic box for example. We used to use this in France for putting all our recycled rubbish in. And I've kept it, but I was in the shed the other day and I thought, brilliant, I can store all my pots in here. I've spent some of my ill-gotten gains on getting a couple of these plastic trays to rest pots in for the upper tier of the staging in the greenhouse. And to make way for the extra tomatoes, I've pulled the peppers a bit more centrally into the greenhouse. It's going to be a bit crowded in here this summer, I think. Right, mission's accomplished. I can go on vacation now. The tomato plants are certainly doing quite well, and the moneymaker on the left seems to be recovering quite nicely. The tomatoes which I didn't put into the grow pot seem to be doing very well too, including the moneymaker that I gave a second chance to. I suspect these are going to be late croppers, but that's okay because I don't want all my tomatoes at once. The courgettes are going absolutely mental. On reflection, maybe I should only have planted two courgettes in that grow bag. Never mind. And the peppers are doing okay too. Although something has been having a little nibble at this particular plant. I need to find out what that is. The leeks are doing quite well too. Some of them are showing a third leaf, so it won't be long before I have to put them in the ground. I've got three French bean plants up, and the broccoli, I think I need to start planting that outside. And it won't be too long before I need to pot some of these chilli plants up as well. The main reason why these plants are looking so healthy is thanks to my friends Fran and Andrew, who very kindly agreed to come and water things in here while I was away. Thanks guys. Now then, when I came in here first, after coming back off vacation, it was a bit steamy. So I thought I'd open this vent. And within 30 seconds of me opening this, a little black face appeared there going, meow. So, if I'm going to have that vent open, I need to make it secure. So, I think I'm just going to staple this into place with my staple gun. Do nicely. Oh, poo, missed. <laughs> you know, I never thought it was so important to be an expert in counter terrorism measures just by having a garden. That'll do. Safe. He is going to be so disappointed when he sees this open vent and realises he can't get in. That's it, you carry on looking all cute and lovely, but I know the real truth. <laughs> Here's an old friend, my little pink lady apple seed, which is doing rather well, but I think it's time to pot it up. The reason I'm wearing these disposable gloves is not because there's any squeamishness. Ooh. That's quite a good root system on my part. It's just I'm tired of digging compost out from under my fingernails all the time. Welcome to your new home little apple tree. I'm sure you'll like it here. I'll just go and get you a drink. Glug 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 glug. Coffee. Right. Next stop, the vegetable patch. You can see that the onions are doing really rather well. These are the red onions and these are the yellow onions which are a little slower growing but that's okay I don't want all my onions at once. But there are a few little weeds starting to appear so I'm going to get my hoe and carefully hoe around these onions. There, that's not too bad at all. Ho ho ho! Yes, you can consider taking your very last dump in this patch for a while, my friend. Oh, thank you very much. So kind. Now in this bed, I'm going to plant my French beans and my broccoli. The first thing I want to do is just dig it over a little bit. It always helps to hum or sing while you're doing something tedious like digging a bed over. You know, there are some pretty unhappy worms in here. 
And so I've just destroyed their home. There they were, minding their own business. And along comes some galoot with a giant fork. Never mind, wormies. You can make your homes again. Now, if I'm going to put my French beans in here, I'm going to need some kind of support for them, which is why I've got me old bamboo, me old bamboo, da -da 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 -da, and something about shoes. Da -da 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 -da. So, I'm going to put two rows of canes down here. Right. Make this a little more sturdy. I'm just using some garden twine to tie these together. That will do the far end, I think. Okay, now I can do the middle ones. That's the last one. Super. I'll just lightly tread the soil at the base here, make sure that the poles are well planted. Now I'll take me three beans that have emerged and plant them up. I'll plant them next to the poles so that they can start to climb up their very own pole. Isn't that exciting? I should have put my flipping gloves on again. Look at that, I've got to dig all that out now. Give them a little bit of water. Mind you, the soil's pretty damp anyway. And there we go. Now, I've been inside and washed my hands and made myself a cup of coffee. And I know what you're thinking. You're saying, Tiddly, you've put up an awful lot of canes here for just three plants. Well, as the plants continue to come through in that little tray, I'll pop them into their appropriate hole. Next job is to do something with this broccoli. Now, I'm going to put in three rows of broccoli quite like broccoli, about 18 inches apart and 18 inches away from the beans. So these will be the heads of the rows. So let's pop these in. So I've got a dozen plants in and I'll keep the others back until I know that these have taken, because if not, then I can always replace them. So, there's one job left to do on this vegetable bed. Counter-terrorism. <laughs> ah, twisted round. Oh, oh, I hate it when this happens. That's better. Oh, that terrorist is going to be so upset when he sees this. He's going to say, where's my outdoor poo box? And I'll say, gone mate. It's gone mate. I must say I'm quite pleased with the progress in this here veggie garden. The thing about flowers is they don't last forever, so now I've got a lot of deadheading to do. It's a pain, but somebody's got to do it. Oh, I'm running out of songs to hum. Smoke on the water, a fire in the sky. Hey, hey, mama said the way you move, gonna make you sweat, gonna make you groove, 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 groove. Hey, hey, mama, when you walk that way, once you're on a trip, can't keep away, way, way. I don't know, but I've been told the three-legged woman ain't got no soul, so, so. I never did quite understand that lyric. <laughs> hmm. The lawn definitely needs cutting. Man! 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 
Lan! Oh, look, Mr. Robbins having a nibble in the seed tray. Well, that's all I've got time for this week. Thanks for watching and do join me next time in Titley's Busy Garden.